everybody. We're back with the talk show with DJ Gatsby, and my special guest today is, um, I keep calling you the celebrity photographer of Washington, D.C., Marcus Bennett. Um, before we went to the break, man, you were talking a little bit about some of the events uh, that you're doing, some of the organizations that you work with. I, I want to talk talking to you a little bit about um, how you got started in the photography. I mean, you know, I know a lot of young people out there are probably interested in photography, even older people, and um, don't know how to get started or, or, or what steps to take. Um, how did you get started? You said you uh, had a love for photography because your dad was into taking pictures, but uh, how did you specifically, man, get started you know, in, in your career? Well, um, I took pictures. Actually, I was doing video first. I bought a video camera back in the 80s, and uh, I got started doing a lot of weddings. Um, and then I would do transfers of photographs onto video and then put okay. music to it. And that, that went off really, really big. And then a few years later, um, man, many years later, I started to, uh, well, the Internet and all of that started to come about. And people needed headshots for their okay. web pages and stuff, especially since... I worked at a uh, financial institution that required people to have headshots for whatever purpose. Okay. So I started doing that. People liked it. And I was just drawn into that full time. Well, not full time, but I invested in a be better camera. Actually, I used my dad's uh, little digital camera to take a lot of pictures. And the company I was working with at the time got me to take pictures of all of the um, people at that office and at other offices around our okay. um, region. And <laughs> I just got a reputation for taking good pictures. I got a lot of uh, practice because it's all digital. Um, then it went on to um, family and friends. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm very active at my church. And um, I got real active with the audiovisual ministry. Um, shout out to Corinthian Baptist Church. Uh, Reverend, uh, I should say, uh, Bishop. <laughs> Bishop. Okay. Bishop uh, James L. Martin is our pastor over there. And um, we, uh, we uh, do a lot over there with the AV system. I'm sorry to get off track, but I just continued to take a lot of pictures and got better at it. And in my volunteering with the Leukemia Society, I was drawn into that because I was doing video and they okay. needed somebody to, um, with the Man and Woman of the Year campaign, we have f uh, about 14, uh, four, seven men and seven women who campaigned to raise the most money in uh, I believe uh, 10 weeks. So I volunteered to work with them, do the mm -hmm. interviews with the uh, volunteers, interview the families and the children affected by leukemia, and put that all together into one uh, package that they could play at their meetings and things. And it ran about five minutes. That gave me a great experience for putting okay. pictures and video together and a lot of editing. So that was a great experience. And I've been volunteer volunteering with them for about seven years. Okay. So one thing just led, led to another. But the past two years with the Leukemia Society, I decided to network more with the people who worked or who volunteered, who had other outside interests okay. in their own social media uh, endeavors. A lot of folks are bloggers or socialites who get around and do other parties that are benefits and otherwise. So I started networking with them, and that brought me into this broader area of uh, meeting the um, celebrities and going different places. Okay. Um, wow, man, you've really done a lot. You're touching a lot of people's lives with what you're doing. Um, I see you got two cameras here in, in front of us. I don't know if they're in the shot, but um, what um, what is your camera of choice? You know, what um, what type of equipment uh, do you use? Commonly? Sure, sure. I'm a Canon man, so um, once you get your start buying lenses, well. Early on, um, you okay, use those, so those lenses with the camera that you buy. So I started, I got, um, I had a digital Rebel at first. Then I up upgraded to a 40D. And I'm currently shooting with a um, 5D Mark III and a 5D Mark II. So this is my close-up and wide-angle camera with a wide lens on it. And this is my zoom lens. It's a 24, actually a 70 to 200 and this wow. is the 24 to 70. Um, but this one is my workhorse, the 24 to 70. Okay, well, very um, interesting equipment that you have there. Yeah. Um, what kind of, uh, I'm still trying to uh, 
help the people out there who may be interested in photography. I'm an amateur photographer, and I love to take pictures everywhere I go. For somebody just starting out, an amateur photographer, who wants to take good quality pictures, uh, what camera would you recommend, you know, I mean, for somebody just starting out? I would recommend any digital point-and-shoot camera because you're looking through the uh, viewfinder and you're composing the shot. So you're looking at the different elements that are in there and setting, them, setting everything up in a way that uh, looks interesting. And since our medium today is digital, you just take pictures upon pictures upon pictures. You don't have to print them out. You don't have to save them. You just have to uh, just get better by taking more pictures. And that's the best thing about the digital today that I find. But as far as getting started, I would um, recommend people to volunteer with organizations, companies. People are trying to get someplace and to tell a story about whatever they're trying to promote as a product or service. Okay. That way, you're a part of something that's changing the society, changing the community, doing a great thing, and also earning a reputation for, for, for a go-to person mm -hmm. that can uh, be willing to help. Okay. Um, wow, man. You know, I, you know I'm a big fan of yours and photography. And um, just who, 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 are some of the, who are some of the famous people that you've taken pictures of? I mean... Uh. I mean, I, I mean, I don't know, uh, locally or, or who was, I tell you what, who, let's say, who were you most impressed with uh, during your time as a photography? I mean, what subject or, or is there a particular person or a particular event that you um, took pictures at that you really enjoyed and um, left a lasting impression on you? Sure. That uh, brings me back to the Leukemia Society. I think it was my first or s my second year, and um, it was at the grand finale, uh, Man and Woman of the Year Gala, and um, the families of the uh, and the children who were affected by leukemia. The kids were on stage taking a picture, and um, everybody's in gowns. It was at the Mellon Auditorium in Washington D.C. Okay. The kids were on stage receiving a gift, I believe, from. Um, um, I'm sorry, I can't remember the company that were giving them a gift because it was the the uh, little brothers and sisters of the children who had the attention because they were in the were in the spotlight. Okay. This jewelry company gave the other kids who were part of the family a little gift, so they were proud to receive the gift. They had their little tuxes and gowns on. Oh wow! Okay. And I took that picture, but when I turned to my left, I saw the grandmothers and aunts and uncles and the other family members with their little point and shoot cameras taking that, take, getting their picture. And I turned and took a picture of them taking a picture. Okay. And it just brought everything home for me because I sat and listened to their stories of how the parents had them on the lap playing with them and felt the lump behind their, their jaw okay. or something like that. And then went to the doctor and found out that the kid was um, you know, diagnosed with uh, some type of blood cancer. And to go from that story early on to this moment of celebration, and the come and the you know the 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 highlight of everybody coming together and celebrating these kids being cancer free and the uh, the uh, participants raising all this money to help um, bring comfort to the people who are coming in to this dreaded disease to get comfort and be provided the support that the Leukemia Society uh, gave to him, everything just hit me all at the same time. And that's wow. the, one of the most impressive things that I, that I remember, that people affected, the people who tried to help mm -hmm. or are trying to help and make a difference. And that moment that everybody is so excited and yeah. happy um, in the midst of such a cruel disease that those regular folks just, you know, those are my heroes, the people okay. who are on the ground doing battle day to day. So I've seen uh, folks like Jesse Jackson. Um, that was really something. I saw him at the Congressional Black Caucus a couple of years ago. And he was speaking on, you know, having gone to Africa and different places, uh, speaking on different folks' behalf. Okay. Um, there's been so many events, and they all come wow. rushing to me at one time. It's, it's hard to pick any one thing out. But that, uh, my volunteering with the Leukemia Society, I think has impressed me the most out of everything. Yeah, I, I see you're very passionate about the Leukemia Society. It keeps coming up mm -hmm. in our conversation. And, and I understand uh, how it is to feel about 
uh, any debilitating disease, uh, as I was telling you before, I work with the Alzheimer's Association of Lower Hudson Valley in New York, and I'm an actual DJ and, and host um, of those events for the past nine years, so I know how it is to be passionate uh, about a disease and to try to find a cure. Um, back to the photography. Who are some of the photographers whose work did you admire, uh, you know, in your travels? Um, let's see. The photographers. Oh, it's hard. I'm putting you on the spot. <laughs> Put me on the spot. <laughs> Boy. Well, I know you know some local photographers in D.C. Uh, mm -hmm. I think uh, Lance, Lance Curry. Is one of the guys oh, yeah, Lance Curry is real uh, cool. Steve Jacobs. Stephen Jacobs. Yeah, a couple of guys that I know. I've some some of their work. Um, now, Stephen Jacobs, he's very special, as well as Lance Curry. Now, Steve, do you know these guys, Steve, personal friends of yours? Steve Jacobs was one of the first guys that I met, one of the first photographers that I met on the scene that uh, could get anybody to smile and could move a crowd. <laughs> and he's, he's so motivated and, 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 and he loves what he does that, uh, man, I'd love to see him come in the room. I, I love to shoot with him because he has no issues. He just gets in there and yeah. he rocks and rolls. Because a lot of times you can go to a place and there's this... For some reason, there's a competition, there's some stinkiness in the air, but wherever he go, goes, he brings a spirit and everything is lovely. I really love working with him. Okay, yeah, big shout out to Steve Jabez. I actually um, took some great shots of me along with you mm -hmm. at the uh, fifth annual white party uh, that Kitty Jones oh, yeah. and, and her, uh, her husband Rob Jones did over the summer. Um, you know what? Um, What's next for Marcus, man? What do you, you know? What, what does the future hold for you, man? I, I know you, you know, you, you got your camera, you got your video camera, mm -hmm. and uh, you just hitting the road. You got all these events that you're doing, <laughs> man. What, what's next for Marcus, man? What can we look for? Actually, uh, right now I'm trying to do a lot more video. Of course, in my okay. title it says MGB Video and Photography. Yeah. So far, the photography has been at the forefront, but now I'm doing a lot, a little more um, behind the scenes shooting for different photographers, especially in the fashion industry. And also, um, uh, once um, in the past three years, I've been fortunate to uh, do behind the scenes photography for Bobby Jones Gospel. And my nephew, Mike Bennett, MWB um, Production, he uh, always does the interviews that you see mm -hmm. or on the testimony uh, part of Bobby Jones Gospel. Yeah. So we're uh, combining our efforts now and doing more. Um, well, the organization is called Bennett behind back Bennett backstage okay so that's something that we're working on we're going to bring out uh coming soon and actually today i'm uh, tonight i'll be at the howard theater with him shooting some behind uh behind the scenes things for okay. performers performing tonight all right sounds good man listen make sure you uh keep your eyes open dc and look for marcus you always see him at dc hotspots uh with his camera taking pictures also you're going to be working with me um we're actually going to be doing a photo shoot um, for my book cover. Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. Actually, just wrote a book called Who's Who in African American Literature, uh, Volume 1. Uh, due to be released in January. And uh, Marcus is going to be doing um, a photo shoot for the cover of the book. So, listen, thanks a lot for, for agreeing to do that. I really appreciate it. And we'll also look to work together to doing some interviews and other events uh, around, in and around D.C. So, you know, you can look for me and Marcus with the cameras and on videos uh, covering events that are of interest mm -hmm. to people here in, in Maryland and D.C. area. Um, listen, we're going to take a break. We're going to be right back in a few minutes. We're going to close up and finish up with Marcus. Uh, stay tuned. We'll be right back in just a second. When you're out there, there's no telling what you'll find. I see it, I see it! Oh, look at you. There are some moments only the forest can inspire. <laughs> find yours at discovertheforest.org. We're back at the talk show with DJ Gaffney. We're still here. 
with Marcus Marcus, you're just hanging around with us up there. I really appreciate it, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My good. Um, we want to cover a lot of things about photography, mm-hmm. as I told you, because I know a lot of people, you know, with the advent of Instagram, social media, and, and the internet, everybody's taking pictures. Um, what do you think about Instagram? You What do you think about Instagram, man? And these, and these pictures that people uh, posted all over the place, man. Instagram is really hot. It uh, gives everybody a new form of, of expression. Uh, initially, I had a lot of problems with it because uh, people would take pictures and then they'd make them look like old pictures from the 60s and 70s. Yeah, yeah filters. So, so uh, those filters and things, it, it kind of, I was a little perplexed at first because um, it was a couple of p- folks who took a picture or pictures that I took and then put the filter on them. I'm like, I struggled to get the picture to look the best and you go jack it up. But uh, I had to swallow my pride and uh, get over that because, you know, it's a great new medium and people are still loving the picture. They're just trying to express themselves. Um, <laughs> I don't encourage it, but uh, <laughs> I went on and subscribed to or whatever you call it to Instagram. And I'm still trying to get my head around it. I think it's pretty cool. I'll, I'll look at what other people are doing. And I think it's very creative. And I do find some inspiration um, looking at the folks' pictures. Okay. Uh, another thing that's really popular around with people, um, camera phones and, and things like that, is the selfie. Now, you know what the selfie is. It's when you hold the picture, taking a shot of yourself. You take a lot of those. <laughs> and uh, I've been to some parties, uh-huh. a couple of parties when you were the photographer and people said, I got to get in the picture with Marcus. I got to get the shot with Marcus. Everybody wants a shot with you and the selfie. Um, how did that whole phenomenon come about, man? Because now when, whenever I see pictures that you've done, events that you, that you cover, you always got the little selfie mm-hmm. with, 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 you know, with, with, with somebody in there, man. What, what's that all about, man? Well, I, long ago, when I was little, uh, watching TV late at night, it's this guy that had a TV show in New York, and he would have guests on the show, and he would always take a picture with that guest. And I always looked at that as like, wow, that's really cool to have all these. I n- did not know who he was, never heard of this guy, but here he is in a picture with these stars. So, you know, flash forward to right now, I started doing the same thing because I would <laughs> find myself in places and it's one thing for me to take the picture, but how am I going to prove to my family and friends that I was in the same room with this person and I took the okay. picture? So I, I kind of like nailed it and um, would take the picture of myself with the, with the person, just hold up my camera. I could only do it with my right hand and them standing on my left side. But the, the, uh, I, never, I didn't know it was called a selfie until yeah. this summer mm-hmm. when I was at Bobby Jones Gospel. And... Um, Little Mo was there, and we were yeah. in uh, makeup and hair, and she had just came out looking really good. And uh, I said, you mind taking a picture with me? And I held up the camera. She said, oh, a selfie. selfie. And she did like this. I was like, oh, okay. and took the picture. She looked stunning, great. And uh, actually, I did a picture with her two years ago at, okay. um, this, at the convention center for, at, for women only. And uh, she remembered me from there. I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. So, okay. man, I, I, I do a selfie every chance that I get. It's been a couple of times that it's bombed because I was so nervous. Yeah. And uh, it bombed with the lady that comes on 104 in the morning. Um, she sings, uh, oh, oh, the gospel singer. She's very pretty. Oh, you got dresses. me. You know, I'm new to the area. I don't even listen to radio. Uh, oh, really. man. Mm. Yeah. Adams. Adams. Yolanda Adams? Y- Yolanda Adams. Okay. I was so nervous with her that. <laughs> the picture came out real blurry. Oh, wow. Um, so I was a- asked you earlier about celebrities and stars and entertainers that you've taken pictures of and, and you couldn't think of. Now you got Little Mo, uh, Yolanda Adams, uh, you know, you're on the set of Bobby Jones Gobbs. You're yeah. really getting around, man. Yeah, Fred Hammond. Um, okay. Jonathan Butler. Uh, so many. Uh, Scott Pelley, CBS Evening News. Oh, so you, you you got a lot going on, man. Yeah, he he volu- he hosts the uh, Cystic Fibrosis Foundation event, and um, I'm looking forward to going there this weekend coming up. I already mentioned that. It's just been so many people, but I didn't know it was called a selfie until I took that picture with Little Mo. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what it's called, and uh, I, I follow you on Facebook, 
And so I get to see a lot of those pictures uh, whenever you post from the events that you do, man. So, yeah, I noticed it that, you know, you haven't took one with me yet, but it's usually with some beautiful <laughs> young ladies that you do these pictures with. So, I mean, I probably never get a chance to take that shot. But anyway, man. Um, <laughs> yes, you will. Yes, you will. Your, I will. Your time is coming. Your time is coming. Okay. Um, we done covered a lot, man. Mm -hmm. you, you, um, before we close, um, I want you to know I really appreciate you coming on today. Promise me you'll come back and, and we'll talk more about photography sure, and, sure, sure. and but, videography. But, but, but first, I want to give you a big shout out, big credit, because people should be using public access more. Mm -hmm. You give an awesome platform to people who have a, have a product or service that they want to promote or talk about, because sure. all of these things are, are creating jobs and it's uplifting mm -hmm. to individuals. Sure. And my only hope and prayer would be, or many hopes and prayers, would be that people will realize the potential of a platform where they can speak to hundreds and thousands of people twice yeah. a day, a couple of times a week. Yeah, actually, we're on. That is um, powerful. We're on twice a day, seven days a week, on Comcast, uh, Channel 99, and Verizon, uh, Channel 11. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's a little plug for the talk show with DJ Gatsby. Uh, you can check that out, man. But uh, continue, please. Uh, well, anybody who would. <laughs> that would <laughs> that would pass up a, a opportunity like yeah. that is not thinking past their uh, the place where they're standing. Sure. Because this that thing is so huge, and people are trying to reach folks that yeah. they're standing right in front of a tree. But all of this stuff is going on, yeah. and you are already there. You're already providing the outlet for people to to say what they yeah. got and let the world know. And I'm just I'm just in your corner. We're going to promote this thing. We're going to talk to people. Sure. And um, let them blow up and be successful in process as God wants them to be. Sure. Because you're on a mission. Yeah, I'm actually on a mission. And, and thanks for that, for that plug, man. Um, as anyone knows, um, my doors are open. Uh, anyone in the, you know, Southern Maryland, uh, D.C. area who wants to be uh, on my TV show, it's a public access television show. Um, you can contact me so many different ways. You see the credits at the end of the show, give some information. But, um... Yeah, and, and uh, so a big shout out to um, what's it, Chanton Lynch. We talked about her earlier. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so many other people, um, you know, Coach Todd and um, Charles County Football League. Um, also, I'm trying to get on this show. Um, and, uh, what's the name? What are you talking about? Roger, the, the wine connoisseur guy? Richard. Richard, Richard. Yeah, uh, I don't want to start naming names, but yeah, uh, yeah we're, we're over, back. We're, we're over the big five zero, and our memories are like. We like, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but um, yeah, um, big shout to uh, Trish, my man Gary, and everybody here at Social with DJ Gas. Listen, we're gonna have to wrap this up. Marcus, thanks for coming on, man. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for giving a plug uh, to my show and, and supporting me for what I do, and encouraging other people who. Um, don't understand the importance of public access television and what it means to the community um, to come on shows like mine and, and let the community know who you are, what you do, and so we can support you. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Absolutely. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, photographer for the stars, Marcus G. Bennett, uh, thanks for coming on, man. I appreciate you being a part of the show. Um, appreciate you working with me with my book cover. And all the things you've done for so many people in the D.C. area, man, uh, with your camera. Big shout out to the Leukemia Society and all the other nonprofits uh, that you work with and support. And um, I, I wish you much success, man, in life as well as your career in, in photography and, and videos. And, and again, thanks for coming on, man. Thank you, sir. Appreciate right. that. <laughs> I appreciate right. that. I, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody. It's DJ Gatto to the talk show. I'll see you next time. Peace.